All right. From here, we can click done. All right, and we are actually ready to perform nodal analysis. Go to calculation, system, IPR, VLP. All right, so for the top node pressure, 250 PSIG, water cut 80%, total GOR of 800 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. Surface equipment correlation as per default. All right, and the vertical lift correlation, petroleum experts to rate method. The rate method should be changed to automatic geometric as this will give us more definition with the unstable region of the VLP curve. And for the left-hand intersection, disallow, and we can leave it as it is. All right, and then we can click calculate, show calculating data. All right, very easy, right? And we can check if we change the surface equipment correlation, for example, to backhand drill. Calculate again. No effect, right? So this is the result. So we can achieve liquid rate of 2,132 stock tank barrel per day with this system with oil production rate of 426 stock tank barrel per day. All right. And we can create cases or we can actually check this one plot, system plot, plot all cases, x axis liquid rate, y axis variables, VLP pressure and IPR pressure. Click done. All right. The same result, right? Of course. This purple line or pink line is the VLP, whereas the orange line is the IPR pressure. All right, finish. And we can create cases actually. We open the drop down section. We can check at gas lift gas injection rate, starting from zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12, right? For the sake of example, done. Calculate, show calculating data. All right, beautiful. Let's check it from zero, zero rate. All right, 2 million standard cubic feet per day. The result is significant. If we inject the gas lift injection rate at rate of 2 million standard cubic feet per day, the impact is significant. So we can achieve almost 6,000 stock tank barrel per day in liquid rate and oil rate of 1,200 stock tank barrel per day. So the results we get previously is actually the result with 0 million standard cubic feet per day gas lift injection rate, which means no gas lift actually. All right, zero rate because let's check again at zero rate. This is our results previously. Okay, so in order to evaluate the coil tubing gas lift, make sure you use the cases and input the gas lift injection rate, the coil tubing gas lift injection rate. In our case, we use two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12 but actually we will use five as per recommendation, almost 5 million standard cubic feet per day. So let's do it again, cases four, we make it five, six, eight, 10, and lastly 12, done. Let's do it again, okay. 0, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, calculate. Beautiful. 0, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12. Let's check it at the sensitivity plot. This is the pressure against gas lift gas injection rate. Click variables, select oil rate. Done. 
All right, so this is the gas leaf injection optimization plot or sensitivity plot. Oil rate against gas leaf gas injection rate. So you can see with zero rate, we can still actually achieve oil rate of 400 stock tank barrel per day. As per table, you can check it. Right, you can check it, for example, done at zero rate, right? We can achieve 426. Go back to sensitivity plot. And then as we increase the gas leaf injection rate, oil rate also increase. But after around six, actually, the oil rate will decrease as we increase the gas leaf injection rate. So we can select either four as the optimum gas leaf injection rate or maybe three with maximum five, right? So this is the oil rate result with five million standard cubic feet per day gas leaf injection rate. Okay, we can click done. And of course, we can check the plot, system plot, plot all cases, done. All right. This is for the no gas leaf injection rate, or let's say natural flow. And this is for the gas injection rate, starting from two, four, five, six, eight, ten, 10, and 12. All right, so far so good. Finish. Let's check it if the water cut increases to 85. Calculate. All right. In this case, the well will die with no injection. With zero injection rate, the well will die. But with two million standard cubic feet per day of gas leaf injection rate, the well can flow and giving us oil rate of 844 stock tank barrel per day. So you can understand now the impact of coil tubing gas leaf. All right. So let's recap. So in this video, we created an oil well and we equip it with the coil tubing gas leaf. We construct the IPR using composite IPR model, which is actually quite similar with Fogel equation. All right, and then we design the coil tubing. Let's check it again. We design, we use this window. We design it quite carefully, right? We provide the maximum gas available, wellhead pressure, operating injection pressure, also kickoff injection pressure, pressure drop across valve, maximum depth of injection, right? And we perform the design and calculation by the PROSPER. And after getting the coil tubing parameters, we design it, we install it in the system, in the well. And lastly, we perform nodal analysis as well as sensitivity analysis we vary the gas leaf injection rate and we get the optimum gas leaf injection rate. All right, so I think that's all. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Prosper videos. Thank you.